The Endless Sea. The Endless Challenges by Women. The Future of the Ever-Changing Maritime Industry. Global Conference for Women in Maritime. The Sea, once considered the realm of men, but the power of women to stand shoulder to shoulder with them. The potential in the maritime industry, created by female sailors, who account for only 3% of the global workforce. Thanks to their efforts, the potential of women in the maritime industry sets forth to the greater seas. When Busan's dream in the ocean meets Busan's future in women, they overcome the raging waves of the maritime industry. The lives and wisdom of female leaders on the ocean, their stage. Great value for the future female leaders. Now is the time for diversity in the era of digital transformation. The female leadership will usher in the future of the maritime industry. The extension of the global network for domestic female CEOs. The expansion of women in the workforce for the port automation system. The emergence of women to lead the future of the maritime industry. The voyage of women will sail with the rapid fourth industrial revolution. And provide limitless potential to the limitless ocean. the powerful future of the maritime industry led by women. The Global Conference for Women in Maritime creates the drive for us to become a maritime power. Open and ready tomorrow. Thank you. Good afternoon. My name is Aimi Sa, Master of the Event of the Second Global Conference for Women in Maritime. Following the first Global Conference for Women in Maritime, which was successfully held last year, we came to hold its second conference on women's leadership for sustainable development of maritime women this year. As you know, there is a Global Women Leaders Forum that has been a pillar until a Global Conference for Women in Maritime could be held. The conference was organized to support empowerment and the growth of women by sharing the experiences of female leaders with the next generation. With the women's leadership as the common dominator, we are going to invite the leaders who led their organization successfully during the keynote session. This conference is organized in order to turn the crisis facing humanity, such as COVID-19 climate change, into an opportunity to expand the global network of women leaders. In order to build a global cooperative system among business leaders in the retirement fisheries sector, which is a specialized industry, Global Conference for Women in Maritime Organizing Committee and League Convention, Wistar Korea are co-hosting and sponsored by Pusa Metropolitan City and BNC and IWFCI. Let me uh, invite the head of the organizing uh, committee of the Global Conference for Women in Maritime and also the CEO of League Convention for opening remarks. Please welcome them with a big hand. Good afternoon. I would like to thank all the distinguished guests who are attending Global Conference for Women in Maritime. And also, I would like to uh, thank the head of the, uh, the 
IMO for sending us open remarks in our video. I also would like to thank all the persons who are joining us online and also offline. And also, again, I would like to accept, express my gratitude to all of you who are taking your time out of a busy schedule. And the history of the organizing committee behind this uh, conference has been contributing a lot. And also, I would like to thank the, the CEO, Isa Wan, and also all other distinguished guests who are making their utmost effort for a global conference. I also would like to thank Dr. Helen Chu and also Secretary General of TPO, Wu Gyeongha, for taking your precious time out of busy schedule to attend today's conference. And also, I also would like to thank Mehdi O'Neill, quarter person of IWFCI, and also I would like to thank Sophie uh, Gang, chairperson of the Global Business Women's Alliance. I would like to thank you for all your support. So we came to hold the second global conference for women in maritime. In the age of digital transformation and also in the age of uh, the maritime where we are witnessing uh, changes and also the population of women in the world in maritime industry only accounts for 1.2% in the world. So it is really timely to hold this kind of a conference to, to nurture talent, especially women talent in maritime. So still, there are many things that we wanted to improve for the second global conference for women in maritime. Although there are shortfalls, we still believe that we really have to hold the second uh, conference for women in maritime. And when we come together, I believe that we can continuously succeed our conference. Not only the Ministry of Oceans and Fisheries, but also we have so many uh, people from various industries and sectors. You have enjoyed your uh, prime time and you did your part in your position, wherever you are. And it is a hope that today's conference serves as an opportunity to expand a network among ourselves and also an opportunity to nurture next promising uh, women leaders after us. There will be so many uh, sessions held during the conference and we will engage in discussions. And then we hope that we can learn from ourselves. Thank you. Thank you very much. This is one of my favorite events and um, I was so excited to um, introduce her. Thank you. We have a congratulatory remark. Once again, we provide simultaneous interpretation service for you. For those of you who need interpretation, please um, pick up the device in front of you and tune to channel one for Korean and channel two for English. Two for English. Thank you. Next is um, congratulatory remarks by Secretary General of IMO, Im Ki Tech. Here he is. Ladies and gentlemen, it is a great pleasure to address you at the opening of the Global Conference for Women in Maritime. Events like this are essential to raise the profile of women across the Maritime and they encourage women to pursue careers in the maritime and ocean sectors. The International Maritime Organization remains committed to making maritime 
more welcoming to women in line with the UN Sustainable Development Goal 5. On 18th May this year, we marked the inaugural International Day for Women in Maritime, which will be celebrated every year from now on. Building a safer, greener, more efficient and sustainable maritime sector relies on and benefits from a diverse, engaged, highly motivated and skilled workforce. The representation of women in the maritime workforce and especially in leadership roles is a fundamental to sustainable growth in maritime. I'm certain that together we can enhance the participation of women in our industry and build a more inclusive and sustainable maritime sector. You can be sure of my personal support and that of international maritime organization. I wish you all a successful conference. Thank you. 네, 사무총장님 좋은 말씀 감사드립니다. 네. Thank you for the remarks and let us dive into the uh, conference. Before we begin, I would like to make an announcement again. This conference is being live streamed both online and offline and also especially on YouTube. Uh, this is being live streamed both in Korean and also in English and also we are receiving questions on live. So whenever you want to ask questions, please do leave your questions.